What it look like, TV? I am back! What it do, baby? YouTube's on Varnell Hill. Did you miss me? Back with another one. First, I'm gonna need you to hit that like, subscribe button, become a channel member if you find it in your heart, get a super sticker, do all the stuff the YouTubers ask you to do. But today, we are talking about protection. It's a lot of talk going on right now about black men protecting black women. And toward the end of this, we're going to get into victim blaming. Because these are the hot topics that's going around right now. And I'm just going to give you my opinion on it. I'm 47 years old. I have a wife. I have three lovely daughters. And I thought I signed up to protect them and the people in my extended family. I didn't know I signed up to be a damn Marvel superhero out here just protecting any and everybody. Now, don't get it confused. If I happen to be somewhere in my travels, I don't think I could ever pass up someone just being randomly attacked or assaulted. Don't get it confused. But I think the person that people are talking about is the person that's actively arguing back person that's actively posturing, the person that's been asked to leave me alone or go the other way two or three times and then something bad ends up happening. And I'm here to say that I'm not stepping in and no one else should step in. And the main reason why I'm not stepping in, and there's a lot of people kicking back against this and I can't imagine why, I have three daughters that it's a responsibility for me to be here for, to see to the next day, the next year, so forth and so on. So I would be a fool to go out there to put myself in harm's way, protecting a total stranger and lead them high and dry. I have a wife that I committed to. I still have a mother, a sister and aunts. I owe them my protection. I don't owe it to a stranger. Now, I'm not saying I would never just not give it away, but to think that I owe it to you is crazy, or to think that any man that don't know you owes it to you is crazy. I think everybody's kind of forgetting that maybe men back in the day moved that way, and I can understand why they moved that way. Because you figure back in the day, Everybody had wives. So nine times out of 10, when you saw a lady out in this situation, that was somebody's wife. So you can feel some type of connection. I have a wife. So I don't want to hurt no feelings. When I see single moms, there's no connection there. I jump out the jet and defend you. Who's going to look out for my peoples? But I forgot, it's just about you. And we got to get off of that, man. Now, let's get into this whole victim blaming thing that everybody been shaky about lately. And <clears throat> we can't speak on the situation. If somebody was a victim, you can't speak on any of their actions because if you do, then that makes you wrong because you're victim blaming. But I just wonder how did people forget that you can make yourself a victim? You can victimize yourself. The example that I used in one of my shorts was, I should be able to go buy the biggest gold chain or any flashy thing that I want that sticks out like a sore thumb. I should be able to buy the biggest gold chain, super duke, dookie links, and it should be able to be stupid. I should be able to wear that chain wherever I want. But if I got that chain on down Kensington in North Philadelphia, at two o'clock in the morning and something bad happens to me. Yes, those people wasn't supposed to do that to me, but I gotta take responsibility for that because I didn't put myself in the smartest of situations and I ain't make the wisest of decisions. And I have to eat that and I can't go around talking about what life is supposed to be. I gotta go off of what life is. And right now they got everybody programmed to be victims. When y'all ran around defending this lady with this crazy story, she wanted you to believe that somebody asked her for her number. She, she wanted you to believe this. Hey, man, 
Hey, shorty, shorty, let me get your number. No. Pick up a brick and hit it in the... Come on, man. Come on, man. Soon as I heard that story, I knew it was more to it. Soon as I heard that story, I knew it was a... Hit me. I dare you in there. I knew it. I knew it. And somebody was crazy enough to do it. Now, don't get it wrong. I don't, cond I don't condone his actions at all. But I don't condone it because she was a woman. I condone it because no human should be hitting no other human. That's why I condone it. But if humans want to have ultra aggressive energy toward each other, what happens, happens. And we got to stop this allowing people to have this one-sided aggression and having people walking around thinking that that's not going to end you know what I mean? In a bad way for them. If you're walking around being aggressive, somebody's going to match that energy. It always happens. And then the irony on top of this all, she was walking around getting clout for just slapping random white men for no reason. And she gets slapped with a brick by her own people. That you want to talk about irony on the reparations. But all I'm trying to say and all I'm trying to portray to every, let everybody know is they done sold y'all a false bill of goods. It's not about not protecting anyone. It's about handling responsibilities. And when you are a married man, your responsibility, first and foremost, is to your wife and your children. Then you have mothers and grandmothers and in-laws and aunts. And if you have some sisters, it's a lot on my plate. It's a lot of people that's dependent on me. It's a lot of people that I want to be there for. So in order to assure that that happens, I can't go around putting the cape on for every situation I see. Like I said, if it's just some totally random stuff, you're not even saying something to somebody and it happens, and whoa, 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 what you doing, guy? But if you actively engaging, y'all actively sharing back and forth this negative energy and you coming out your mouth crazy and he coming out his mouth crazy, I can't help you. Flat out. Y'all engaged in that. I don't know how deep that go. I'm not stepping in that. If it's a situation where like I have seen a million times where somebody is begging and pleading with you to leave them alone, Let's keep it 100% funky. With a lot of these situations, they start out just like that one that was so misfortunate earlier this year where the guy basically begged the lady to leave him alone. Then she didn't and he wigged out and he <clears throat> deleted everybody in the house. Nine times out of 10, these things come with the shut your mouth and go the other way or leave me alone. But people ego be so inflated nowadays you just want to keep poking the bears they said back in the day so I'm not stepping in and getting in between that I want to make sure I walk each one of my daughters down the aisle you know what I mean and see grandkids and live to see other milestones in life not be in a wheelchair because I call a bullet for some random person that's not even going to come to my court date <laughs> you know what I mean you're not even gonna start a GoFundMe or nothing for my kids. You're gonna go home, smoke a blunt, and have a good night. Put some ice on your face and keep it moving. If I go to jail for this, you ain't gonna put no money on my books. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, I know it's gonna be a lot of people that don't like this video. Tell me how you feel in the comment section. You know, when we can talk about it like adults. You ain't gotta immediately throw an insult. You know what I mean? I respect your view either which way. And like always, if you'd have made it to this point in the video, you are my MVP. It was a stone groove, my man. I'm out of here.